Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Today I want to show you how you build this map component with our template just in Webflow. So you just get a map with some items on it. So what I do is I open up a new project in Webflow and I just copied this content from the template. So if you have your own project open or you just start with a new project, make sure that you copy the NCF map container and the item container from the template. What I've done here is I just copy all entries of the template. At the beginning, I want to start with the custom code embed in the header code section. So what I do is I just go to project settings and I open this here and then you have to go to the tab custom code. There you have the head code section where you have to uh, in import the necessary script for our extension. I've got them here. You can find them on the website in the link we sent you. So you just have to copy these lines of code and paste it in here. That's all you have to do here. Then you just save the changes and you're ready to go. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to add the custom collection. So I open the CMS collections here and just create a new one as usual in Webflow and give it a name like location. And then I wanted to add some uh, fields. I need a field for the latitude and longitude. So I just gave them any name. And also I want to have a different color for different markers. So I add a field, uh, just a color field and just name it color. Yeah, and then I just make these required so that we don't have locations without latitude and longitude. Yes. So I can now save this collection, save these fields, and now I have to add some items. Okay, to add some items, I need the latitude and longitude. And for that, I can recommend this tool. It's named letlong.net and you can just uh, use it to convert any given place to a latitude and longitude. So what I want to do is I want to find Barcelona on the map. And yeah, here we go. Now we just can copy these. And I go back to the collection and create a new location, name it Barcelona, and paste in the latitude and the longitude for this specific location. Then I can also add a color. I will take a little this, this green and click on create. And now I create my first location item. So what I've done now is I just imported some more cities so that we have some examples at the end. Okay, after we created the CMS collection, we now have to map it to this collection list. So I just double click here and set source location. And now we are able to use our pre-built item um, template and place it inside of the collection list because now it is mapped and you can copy content to it. So just drag and drop the item inside of the inner item wrapper and you're ready to go. The next step gets much easier if you select these items and just set it to um, grow size. So now you have it a little bit bigger here. Um, I want first to map these inner text to the name of the location. And then I want to edit the HTML embed. Inside of the HTML embed, you find this div container with some data attributes. What you have to do now is to uh, modify um, all these attributes by replacing these caps text 
with the, the Webflow content field. So you just um, click on these twice so it is marked and then you just can replace the caps text with the data field. Yeah, and here the pop-up text is just the text that is shown if you hover over a tag here. So um, whatever uh, you want to be shown there, you can add here. So what I want to have there is just the name of the city. So I just place in the name, but you can place whatever you want. You also can add static text by just um, typing here. So I now save and close this and I now just shrink the collection list again. Okay, let's have a look at these result. So I just publish. So this is what we created so far. We've got this list and we've got these um, tags on the map. And if you click on one, uh, it gets selected here. If you like to restyle the selected or hover state, you can do this by uh, selecting the NFC map item and give it the class hover, for example, to do change the hover state. Um, what we can do here, for example, is we just want on hover to no not change the font we want to change the size to 18 yes so i just remove hover again and now maybe we also want to change the selected state maybe we want to have another a different color here i just take some red here and yeah and then i just remove the select tag again so if i now publish the website and reload this what you can see now is if you hover over one of these, the text gets much larger and if you click on it, it just it also gets red. So yeah, this is how you can style the selected state. Okay, uh, now I just want to restyle all this a little bit so that you get an intuition what is possible with these. So first I maybe just change the direction. Um, yeah, whatever I take these items and give them a width. Maybe I just want to have little, have this in another orientation also and I just grab them. So now I've got this item like this and I just want them to be centered. And I just change whatever I like. Yeah, now I also want these little items to um, also be flex boxes and I want to center the titles and then I um, give them a background color, just a little gray. Uh, and I want to have uh, some, some radius. And I also want them to have some margin so they don't touch each other. Whatever you want. Uh, or you now want to have the half state to be also a different background color. And say if you hover, you just want them to be red. I don't know, whatever you like. Um, yeah, let's publish this. So and now you've got a totally different looking map with a different looking hover state. Yeah, but the same components. So you're absolutely free to style. Just be careful with the class names and then um, nothing can happen.